You are listening to the IoT for All Media Network. So, so let me ask um, on the topic of security and just general challenges I think companies face when they're dealing with and implementing the devices in in, from, in an IoT solution. Um, obviously, on the security front, oftentimes security is is sadly an afterthought, um, which brings in lots of problems, especially when they start to scale. But aside from just that piece, what other challenges have you all seen kind of on the device side of the equation for IoT that have been some of the biggest challenges um, probably recently and maybe that we still face now? And, and how do we kind of overcome them? Matthew, you want to start and then I'll, or you want sure. me to take yeah. that? I'll, I'll go for it. I think we'll, <laughs> I think we'll both chip in. There's probably several points that we could both Perfect. make. Perfect. Um, I think connectivity is often still a problem. So um, mm. th- th- these some of these things are designed in environments where th- there's connectivity all the time. Right, right, <laughs> And then right. when they're used in rural areas, there is intermittent connectivity. And that can be a big, a big problem, uh, especially if the device is not designed to cope with that. It can actually, I don't want to keep dragging security into it, but that can actually be a security issue as well. If, if a device doesn't cope with that connectivity, then... It can be a problem if you imagine you've got an electronic door lock, an IoT lock. If it doesn't cope without having connectivity, that's a terrible design, right? It can be safety implications <laughs> of that. So, right. Um, and, and so some devices can actually not handle the, the intimate connectivity very well. And that's something okay. that needs to be kind of built in right from the start, too. Sure. Um, how about, Rob? Do you want to have a go? Yeah. You know, the other thing, you know, Ryan, that we see is heterogeneity. You know, there's, yeah. you know, a lot of the systems now, you know, one device might be running, you know, Windows, IoT. The next one might be running Linux. The next one sure. might be running Android. And they're all working together and connected. So the heterogeneity of the environment is 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 a much bigger challenge than it ever was before. Yeah. So um, so that that really hurts us. You know, the, the device maker. So we really think of our customer as the device maker, the person who's building the device. You know, they design right. it. They manufacture right. it. They deploy and operate it. Now, you know, when we say they manufacture it, there's a lot of companies out there that actually build the device to a spec. So we're thinking mm-hmm. of the person whose brand is at risk, you know, and their brand is now at risk for a hack. You know, if somebody, sure. you know, breaks in through the HVAC system into the system to get credit card information, that reputation damage falls back to a device maker who never really thought of that. So your question is really you know, your question is really right on point. Security was an afterthought. Oh, just as long as it doesn't do anything. Where now it's it's the primary brand risk if you're the if you're the entry point for this. And so helping the manufacturers and the device makers understand that. And yep. the other thing is it, it challenges the way they think of the product that they sold. And some of yep. our customers are getting very sophisticated about this. They're thinking, you know, look, I'm no longer selling a product. I'm delivering a capability and that capability is, is, is consumed every day because in order to do that right, I have ongoing costs, you know, with data and connectivity that need to be part of that. So you're, you're really seeing people struggling from, hey, I got to have security. I got to have all of this connectivity and updatability. But my business model was I got paid once for this gizmo and now I, I got to provide all this other thing. So mm. it is both challenging technically and it is challenging from a from a business model. 